opening to our top story this morning, the major water emergency in southern Prince George's County. Many residents there will find their faucets are dry by this afternoon. Now that crews have shut off the main that was about to break. Our John Gonzalez is live at the work site in Forestville and he actually has an update. John. Jimmy, and that's exactly what this is. You called it a water emergency, this mandatory water restriction well underway for pretty much all of southern Prince George's County. About 150,000 customers being asked to preserve as much water as possible because soon it will be gone altogether. Now, we just received an update that the pipe here, the water, the main water main has been shut down and now it is in the process of dewatering. Here to tell us more about that, Lynn Riggins with WSSC. You're essentially draining this pipe. We are. We started draining it about midnight last night. It's a, it's a big process. It's about a half a million gallons of water that we need to get out of an eight inch valve. So it's a lot of water that needs to come out of a small hole. So it, it takes time. So we're getting the water out of the pipe. As soon as we're able to do that, we'll get someone inside the pipe to verify the location of where we need to dig just to confirm it. And then we'll dig down. We'll get that bad section out and we'll get the new section in. But this is a this is a 54 inch in diameter pipe. It's a, it's a huge main, so it's not going to be a quick fix. We certainly appreciate all the efforts of our customers with the mandatory water restrictions going in effect at 9 last night. People are conserving. Demand was high last night. Demand is low this morning. People are still getting out, but hopefully they will continue to follow those restrictions and conserve water. Take a short shower this morning. And we understand that a monitoring system notified you on Friday. Customers have been asking us what took so long. Could have this been prevented? Could it have been seen before you got the warning signs? The monitoring system did exactly what it's supposed to do. So that worked as it should. There were a few wire breaks um, on Friday, and there are a few wire breaks in these large pipes. That doesn't cause a reason for concern, but the frequency of the wire breaks increased over the weekend, and it was on Monday that we got to a point we need to take this main out of service because we'd had enough wire breaks to know that the structural integrity of the pipe was compromised. Thank you, Lynn. And WSSC saying it, it essentially had no other option but to do it this way. Water will run out for residents at around lunchtime today, and it will last for about five days. Reporting live, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.